How to add hyperlinks in Canva. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can add hyperlinks in your Canva posts. So let's get into it. Now to create hyperlinks and link different types of websites on Canva is really simple. And you can do this with any type of design that you want. So let's say that I have a presentation and I want a hyperlink in my presentation. So this is a simple presentation template and I'll just make this related to makeup. And I want to take, let's say this template from the left. And over here, let's say that I want to just make a simple presentation and I'll add a secondary page. And in my secondary page, let's say I am going to be comparing two different products. So let's say I have the Rare Beauty Lip Oil versus maybe something like the Fenty Lip Oil or Lip Stain. I'm just going to make two text blocks and I will add the Fenty Lip Stain in the other text block. And after that, I'm just going to delete some of the elements over here and I'll resize these so these are a bit more visually easy to look at, like this. So now that we have two separate texts, it's time to actually link our text or hyperlink our text. So to do that, you can do this with elements as well as text, but to do this, I'm simply going to select the text box. Then I'm going to click on these three dots. Then I'm going to click on link. And now I'm going to copy this link. So this is, you know, the lip oil I want to link and I will paste in that link and then click on done. Now, once you click on done, this will have a underline. So you can click on the text box again and then click on the underline to remove the underline. And now I can do the same thing for the Fenty one. And I'll just copy the link for Fenty. And then I will go back over here and click on the text box, click on a link, and then paste in the link. And then click on done and then remove the underline. Now, even though this is a presentation, the hyperlinks will remain. And if someone during the presentation clicks on the Rare Beauty Lip Oil or the Fenty Lip Stain, they will be led to those particular website links. However, there are a couple of things to keep in mind if you are doing hyperlinks. So in comparison, let's say that you want to add a Rare Beauty Lip Oil versus Fenty Stain. And you have one text block that has both the links that you want to add. So in that particular situation, just highlight one section of your text and then click on link and then just paste in your link. So you don't have to necessarily select the entire text. You can just select one section. And even though all of this is present within one text box, I can actually add two different links to this. So I'll copy this one. And then I'll paste in this one and then click on done and then click on done. And you can choose to remove the underline like so. So this is how you can add a hyperlink in Canva to do two, two different types of sections. But if it is one text block, you can actually add it to one text block as well. Now, another alternative is maybe images or elements. So let's say you have two different images that you want to link. So let's say this is one of our images. I'll pick out a image like this one. Let's say this is image number one, and then this is image number two, like this. And I want both of these to link to different pages. So for that, you can simply select the image, click on the three dots, and then click on link, and you can add your link over here. And then I'll add a perfume link over here. I'll just add a perfume like this and then I can copy the link for this and go back into my element and then click on these three dots and then click on link and then paste in my link over here and then click on done and in this way you can hyperlink in the form of separate text box the same text block as well as different elements now one very important thing to note if you are doing this is the way that you're going to save this because that is what actually makes these clickable or not because if you save these incorrectly that would actually not make your links clickable 
which is obviously going to defeat the purpose of having this. So the way that you can actually do that is by clicking on share and then clicking on download. Once you click on download, you want to make sure that you are downloading this as a PDF. It needs to be either a PDF standard or a PDF print. You cannot download hyperlinks or your hyperlinks are not going to work if you are downloading in the form of a PPT, JPEG, MP4, PNG, SVG, or GIF. For your hyperlinks to work, make sure to use a PDF and then click on download. And now I will display how these hyperlinks are working. So I'm downloading this presentation. It doesn't even need to be a presentation. It could just be one, uh, you know, one frame or one post. And once this has been downloaded, we can actually demonstrate how it will open up different links when I click on different sections of the presentation and or of your Canva design. So let's wait for this download to be completed. So now that our download is completed, as you guys can see, if I click on this, it's leading me to this lip oil. If I click on the lip stain, this is going to open up the lip stain. Now, if I go back and I scroll down, and I click on the Fenty stain, although this was all written in one text block, if I click on the Fenty stain, it is opening up the Fenty stain. And if I go back and click on the Rare Beauty lip oil in the same text block, it is still opening up the Rare Beauty lip oil. Now, you can also do this with your elements. So if I click on the elements, it's opening, you know, the lip product. And if I click on the perfume over here, it is opening up the fragrance page. So you can really add as many types of hyperlinks as you want in Canva. It's super helpful in terms of building presentations that are linking different product or online resources and can be a great way for you to go over your presentations and find more detailed info as you go over them later down the road. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to follow along with these and techniques that I showed in this video and if you enjoyed this video I would recommend that you please leave a like and if you have any questions regarding this video regarding any other video or regarding any social platform then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below and I will try to answer as soon as possible because that is the point of our YouTube channel I want to show you guys on how to glide through these platforms and how to easily navigate and fulfill the purposes that you want to do with these social platforms and if you have any details that you might want to know any suggestions any improvements that you think that i could add on to these videos then please do leave them in the comment box down below and i will make future videos according to those and if you have any specific topics that you look forward to also leave those in the comment box down below and I will try to make videos on those as well and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out other videos and if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well and if you find that there is something missing I will try to figure out a way to an uh, integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video